Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, Doomsday, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, first of all, big gamer moment right now, guys. I'm here with the legend, Nikki Prussian. Yes. Hey guys. If you guys have been around YouTube recently and uh, if you watch content related to Russia, if you're interested, for example, in what life in Russia is like after sanctions, this guy is the plug. He's made like a billion videos about this stuff and uh, he's doing well and there definitely should be a lot of people that will know who, who you are and... Uh, Out of my audience, there are thousands of people who know who you are, Roman. The first thing that people told me after knowing that I'm going to Georgia, they say not eat hachipuri, not eat local cuisine, yeah, yeah. but go find Roman. So here we go. Yeah, there we go. We found each other. <laughs> we found love in a hopeless place. Anyway, I was about to say that... Uh, I was <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Nikki's actually uh, only visiting here in Georgia. He's just like, you know, going around the country and uh, basically traveling. Well, obviously, I live here. I, I believe you have a lot of stuff to share about being a YouTuber while staying here in Georgia right now. And I'm still living in Russia in St. Petersburg City. Yeah, this man is brave, you guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's not about bravery, it's like more about stupidity. Oh, uh, okay. Fair, fair. So yeah, let's get into it. Exactly. That was a good cut. That was, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> but hold on guys, before we continue with this video, I would like to make an announcement. Basically, I just dropped this thing right here, this Gopnik plushie in collaboration with Makeshift. It is a plush toy that I designed myself, which is just beautiful. I mean, look at him, he has the outfit, he has the fake Adidas on, he has the beer bottle in his hand, he has the black eye, he has the hat, and he's all squishy and plushy. If you want to have this beautiful piece of Slavic merchandise in your apartment to protect it from, I don't know, angry people, then go over to the link down in the description and buy the Gopnik plushie from the Makeshift website. Not only do you get a sick toy, but you also support your boy. Limited time offer, by the way, so go get him. Let us get back in the video. I just noticed something that Nikki did when we were crossing the road here. It was a red light just now, and this man stopped at a red light. Of this, course. This man of is course. clearly... That's what do people do in <laughs> Russia, right? Right? Yeah. This man is clearly not living the Georgian lifestyle, I'm telling you. I guess the main thing I wanted to sort of discuss in this video is uh, kind of a dumb question, but I think it's warranted, right? A lot of YouTubers right now who are Russian, who make uh, content in English and stuff, a lot of them either have already left Russia or are basically planning on it, you know? So my question to you is, why do you still <laughs> live in Russia? I mean, it's kind of fucked up to ask, but like, for real though, you know what I mean? Why? Well, for me... It's personal reasons, like, I came back to Russia a few years ago because of coronavirus and... Um, yeah, you lived even, in China. I lived in China, I lived yeah. in Asia, and I really like um, the Southeastern Asian countries and I wanted to be back there. Right now, my girlfriend is still a student, oh, okay. so she has to stay... It's always in Georgia. <laughs> this man is drifting. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so uh, she has to finish her university, basically graduate in one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that happens, we can move to any other place. I think it's also fair to say that for most of English-speaking YouTubers in Russia, perhaps even if we didn't have the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, anyways, most of us would like to move somewhere at sure. a certain time. True, but the thing is that like, I feel like, you know, it was like the ultimate push to do it. And I've been open about this on my channel for a while as well, that I'm like kind of anxious and paranoid all the time, and but basically of being, you know, shot in the, two times in the back of the head in a suicide or being thrown out of a window type shit, you know? So I self-censor myself a lot in videos and stuff for this exact reason. But now I feel like the censorship has gotten so bad. It's hard for me to imagine like even continuing my channel as it is if I still lived in Russia, you know what I mean? So how do you feel about that? Do you do you have to censor yourself a lot when you uh, make your videos and stuff? Do you have to choose your words and you the topics that you talk about, etc.? You know? Of course I do. Like every single time when I talk anything related to politics or current situation in Russia, I have some kind of mental border or something border in my mind yeah. that I do not cross. I simply have a lot of things that I do not dare to say in my videos because I know there are thousands or even hundreds of thousand people around the world who will hear that and if my line does not go along with the line of our government most likely it's like uh, might cause some trouble not 100 percent but it yeah. might be um, like it might happen yeah, although yeah. I think I'm here really opposite from from you Roman yeah like I am very non-stressed person like okay I don't feel much amount of stress in my life yeah, I yeah. don't feel any can't relate kind of <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can't relate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, even right now, when I keep making videos about Russia while staying in yeah. St. Petersburg city, mm -hmm. I still feel quite comfortable being myself and talking stuff. 
taking yeah. in fact that I do not say 100% of things that I have in my mind. Sure, anyways, same. The reason why I want to move out of Russia is not because uh, I'm being censored, not because I'm uh, being prosecuted by somebody, although yeah. it might be real someday, yeah. sometime. But the real reason is that there are simply much more better places for me um, than Europe or Russia, and mm -hmm. I simply want to live somewhere out there. Yeah, man, because that's the thing for me. I uh, I feel like, uh, you know this phrase, the wicked flee when no man pursueth? I guess uh, that's kind of me, basically, because I always feel like somebody's out to get me. Bro, I mean, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm also, like, not being fucking persecuted or, like, I'm not wanted by anybody. Yet, I still feel iffy about the idea of going back to Russia right now. Like, I'm actually trying not to do it. I don't know, for me, it's just, it, it just doesn't feel right. And it feels like there's a risk to it, which there's probably even, there's probably none, but I still feel that way, you know? It's hard to navigate because you gotta understand like if you're, if you're Russian basically we even have like a saying in Russia if there's a person they will, they will find a way to put him in jail, you know, basically. So, I live with that kind of mindset, you know? <laughs> it's really hard to, like, uh, I guess, understand and navigate because you think it's either, you know, I'm insane or it's either he's oblivious. You know what I mean? Like, I can't decide which is which. I actually live uh, under such kind of guideline, too. I, if they want to put you in jail, they, like, uh, they'll find some, uh, some reason to do that. And no matter what you do, like, mm -hmm. so I don't really care much about it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe oblivious. And when you describe just uh, right now you've been paranoid i remember this word paranoid <laughs> that's yeah, something yeah. that i do not really uh feel personally okay. and that sounds pretty much insane to actually talk to a person who has such a different mindset yeah bro i mean i i really need to like get my head fixed honestly i don't know what it is with me um i often say in my videos that it doesn't really matter what you say unless you make people do something Okay. Unless you make people do an action. Maybe I'm just the kind of person that reads too much of like uh, articles every single day about people getting jailed and shit. And I'm like, every time I read one of these articles, I'm like, this could happen to me very easily. I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, the time when it was just all starting in back in February, back in March, I was thinking if I should leave. And I understood that actually, yes, I want to leave, but no, I don't want to leave ASAP. Yeah. And actually, every single time when I went uh, to film protest, when I was uh, in the middle of like protesting crowd, I was ready to get jailed for like very short time, yeah. uh, for like one week. Uh, but uh, if this actually happened, I will do not go there again. In the Russian criminal code, the way it follows is that basically you can go to a protest and you can get arrested for like whatever, one to 15 days actually, depending on your luck, I guess. I think the way it is, is that if within one year or like two years or something, you get arrested three times, you basically get get a criminal case on you oh yeah that's the way it works you gotta understand like and you 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 will you will think i'm insane for this but this is the way my brain works i'm catastrophizing all the time i'm like okay i'm gonna go to this protest they're gonna catch me they're gonna detain me they're gonna start asking me what i'm doing then they're gonna find out that i'm a youtuber they're gonna look at my videos they're gonna be like oh bro you're, you're talking shit and then they'll ra ra rape me in the ass in prison basically that's the way my thinking works you know that's so different from what i have <laughs> in my head like for me, the partner was like, should I go or not to film the protest? And I'm like, okay, what's the worst thing that might happen to me? Well, uh, I might get detained for like one week, a yeah. few days, and the you know, worst thing that's gonna happen for me is I just gonna sleep, not in a comfortable place for yeah, yeah. simply one week, but I've been traveling a lot around Southeast Asia when I had almost no money yeah. and staying in a hostel that cost like one bucks a night okay. it might be about a similar experience. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like how this video basically turned not only not only from a discussion of me asking you why you didn't leave Russia and how you feel being you know a YouTuber about, talking about Russia for English you know for English speakers who still lives in Russia this turned into a fucking therapy session for me just basically showed up saying how fucking insane I am. <laughs> But the thing is just that I never really get to talk about this stuff and also I think the reason why I want to talk about this stuff with you is because we do share a similar experience. Because this is something that was pissing me off for years actually. When I started making these types of videos, I feel like really there was like almost nobody who made the videos like that I did, that I could talk to and get their insight and see how they feel. So I felt like super alone in it. There's like a new community pretty much that emerged now. And uh, I feel like we're all sort of like-minded people and uh, that's just great because I never felt that way before and I'm enjoying it, you know? Well, Nikki, I actually do want to ask you. So you've been in Georgia for how long now? For like four or five days. So how do you feel overall? 
Um, I feel odd. Like okay. for the first day, I felt really weird because you know I feel myself like uh, I'm a Russian. I'm coming from Russia. I I, I talk Russian to my girlfriend. Yeah. But at the same time, I pass by and I see a lot of pro-Ukrainian signs on like basically everywhere sure. and uh, even though I do not uh, like what's going on between Russia and Ukraine sure. uh, still I feel like I am coming from Russia and this <laughs> gives some level of pressure yeah makes yeah. me think like what if I start speaking Russian on street would people actually hate me or yeah. do anything like uh, violent against me but then with every single day staying here once again like maximum five days very short term yeah. stay, I actually came to a realization that Georgian people are very friendly and hospitable so I started to feel more like open to people here talking about basically Tbilisi and Georgia itself like it here it's like so delicious like, you know in St. <laughs> okay. Petersburg we have a lot a ton of Georgian restaurants. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I love them. I, every single week I go actually eat some uh, okay, and okay. Shikuri and I was so excited to try it here in the capital of Georgia and it was super delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, Pasanori restaurant should sponsor Roman because... Yeah, Pasanori like... is the best place ever, bro. Pull up to <laughs> Pasanori right now. Best in Cali and all of Belisi. Not in advertisements but we should be getting paid for this. What else can I say about Tbilisi? It's very interesting in terms of architecture and exploring the yeah. city. There is no major style of architecture here. Everything mm -hmm. is so freaking different, unique and so interesting. Now, nah, architecture here goes hard. I do agree. Uh, like some of the buildings in Tbilisi, I feel like they are actually some of the coolest Soviet architecture I've seen. This is actually something kind of funny that I wanted to, want to mention as well. We already discussed this, but uh, I was surprised to learn how old you are. <laughs> Honestly. Like, well, like, don't say right now, Roman, just uh, <laughs> give the guys a Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you should guess. You should I? guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was actually surprised to learn that Nikki is 27. I was like, what the fuck? Because honestly, I thought Nikki was younger than me. Like, this is a Russian man who's 27, by the way, guys. You know how I'm gonna put up a picture of what 27 Russian men usually look like? You usually look like 49 <laughs> by the time you're 27, you know? I will probably look fucking awful when I'm gonna be 27. Let's be honest. When I was watching his videos, I was like, damn. This guy is like getting good views and shit. He's making cool, interesting content. And this man is like probably like 22 or something. Nice, you know? And when I actually found out, it was like my jaw dropped to the floor, you know? I have a theory that the more paranoid you are, the faster you grow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he doesn't have a fucking single wrinkle on his face. Look at me though. No, 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 I have one. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I'm though, bro. I'm gonna look like, I'm gonna look like fucking... Oh, that's the same guy that was dressing earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Bro, I'm gonna look like Gordon Ramsay by the time I'm gonna be like 26. Yeah, that all that all that overthinking, all that fucking paranoia just, yeah. It leaves a mark on your face, man. What can I say? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. We were just walking here off camera and we just had the great idea. I just had a great idea. Basically, me and Nikki wanna eat something. And here's the thing. This man lives in Russia, so he doesn't have McDonald's. And guess where we're about to go now? McDonald's, baby, yes. Are you excited? I'm super excited. <laughs> That's gonna be like the first McDonald's lunch, I don't know, for half a year. Yeah, let's see how it compares to the legendary uh, tasty period, Kusnetochka. It's just funny to me, right? Because I've already been living in Georgia for like the last four months, over four months, and McDonald's is pretty normal to me, you know? It's like nothing's changed, but for you... You know, it's not only about McDonald's, but actually about little daily life things. When you actually can pay by credit card or yeah. even using Apple Pay. Yeah. Apple Pay is not available right now in Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so convenient here. Yeah, also, go in and see all the brands that left Russia. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. they are present here in Georgia. Yeah, of course. So is McDonald's. Let's go. Let's get ourselves a meal. There you go, bro. You have actual Coca-Cola, Fanta and Sprite, not fucking Chernogol. I'm actually uploading video today where I went to a Russian supermarket a few yeah. weeks ago and there is no single cola bottle. There's only Pepsi and Chernogolovka. Couldn't be me, guys. Couldn't be. <laughs> that sucks, though. Fuck. Roman, yes. why they only have fries here like where is my favorite village potato like potato oh, really? wedges no i think they should have them potato wedges uh where's potato wedges i don't know maybe they're out of them actually yeah this mcdonald's is, is on some tasty period shit today bro no fries what is going on <laughs> there you go this man is about to eat that <laughs> i just wanted to do this joke this video shouldn't be called russian tries mcdonald's for the first time it's like russian tries mcdonald's for the first time and 
six months. Cola, zero sugar, kid size, <laughs> like there's no such thing in Russia right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just all right. This burger is something that we never had yeah, yeah. in Russia before. I never seen this. Yeah, no, this is new in Georgia as well. Yeah, this is funny. I didn't expect this vlog to end up as a food review, Ooh. but here it is. Finally. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, how do you feel uh, eating McDonald's again? <laughs> that actually feels good. I never tried this good burger. Yeah. It feels fresh yeah this really nice meat and fresh cucumbers and also this grass i don't know rucola or yeah yeah how do you and no that? mold and <laughs> no mold like yeah. it's not eat dodge <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. My, i got the chicken one actually let's see what it looks like bro that actually looks like decent chicken i'm not gonna lie we went into mcdonald's that's kind of a joke i mean i actually do like mcdonald's but i haven't been in one in a while this is actually like no joke fucking good nikki likes his as well i think i like this burger but only one thing hits me a lot this burger costs the same as like 12 or 13 Hinkali. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you're in Georgia, you only go to McDonald's just for the meme of it, or if you're Russian, hasn't been there for 10 years. But other than that, yeah, of course, Hinkali is hard to beat. All right, well, apparently uh, Nikki has to dip now. So uh, I just want to say big thanks to you for, you know, joining me for this video. Thank you for being my uh, therapy counselor today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. For like um, uh, inviting me for this place and also showing around the yeah. city and inviting you to McDonald's and inviting me to McDonald's. I didn't expect to try this new kind of a burger here. Yeah. Apparently, I have to go now hosting my Russian club in like in two minutes. Yeah. So see you guys. I guess Roman has something else to say to you. Anyways, guys, yeah, I just left Nikki. He's like having his like English club uh, call in that McDonald's, you know, still staying there. I think that's pretty much where I'm gonna round up this video. Uh, also, after you watch this, you should check out Nikki's channel because he also has a video with me on his channel in which we go into detail, sort of talking about my experience in Georgia and his experience in Georgia. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to slap the like on it. As well, if you wanna support me additionally, go down to the description and you can uh, join and become a member of my YouTube channel. It's essentially like YouTube's own version of patreon that is just easier for me to get paid and yeah guys thank you once again for tuning into my channel and i will see you guys in the next one peace